Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. My name is Spade, and today we'll be tackling episode number 4, C2W. Come to west? We're actually going east. To the eastern communications post, where we need to destroy some satellites. We'll be selecting this landing zone, the only one really. And I will change my loadout to number two, where we have our primary weapon for today. And that is the water gun. Oh yes, that's the only gun we're gonna be needing. And why do I not have a body? There we go. Oh, I do. <laughs> uh, so, I'm not gonna be really needing a tranquilizer gun or anything. You know, if something goes wrong, I will use my magazines to distract the enemy soldiers. But without further ado, let's just jump right into the mission. We have arrived. Let's go, Horus. We got about 750 meters away. So, not too bad at all. So, uh, basically our goal is to destroy those three satellites or communication equipment thingy match bombers. And we can do that with the water gun. So the water gun is useful for something. Uh, you know, a lot of the electronic equipment can be uh, disabled with the uh, water gun. And it's a silent way to do it, so I, I really like it. I don't need to use C4. Uh, which will make a horrible racket and a noise. I'm not sure if the water gun, it, it may actually, if the soldiers are near, they may still get alerted and, uh, you know, raise a caution. But still, you know, it's a semi-silent way to uh, knock those things down. So that's the way I, I will be going. And something I wanted to ask you guys again. Whoops, my bad. Uh, about these uh, soldier skills that I briefly mentioned earlier. This guy has the uh, quick draw. Uh, but have you guys tried them out yourself? Have you found them really any useful? Because it seems like they're mainly just for like the uh, dispatch missions. And I'm gonna start sneaking now because there's some guys around this area and I don't want to alert them. But have you tried them out? The only one that I've really found useful myself playing as uh, is the tough guy. Because I can take hit better, hits uh, better as that guy. I, at least I, I, I think so. Although I, I, I'm still not sure if Snake is still the better character. And there are like some abilities United. like athlete, which makes First, you better at running, you know, makes you faster. But I'm not sure if that's useful at all, because Snake has like mobility uh, plus three with, with his uh, prosthetic arm, so he's like super fast. Enemy, so I don't know if there's a point to really use an athlete character. But then there are like faster reload, that is like one skill that could potentially be useful, especially on some uh, uh, boss fights. But uh, other than that, the faster reload, tough guy, I haven't really found these abilities too useful. But, uh, oh, look at that. If you guys have found some uses for those abilities, uh, or skills, rather, and uh, have found some uh, specific missions that they are really good at in, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Up. I think I should be able to go past them. More guys spotted me, so there will be more boys coming this way. I think I will take a little break. We got some fuel around here. Oh, and some diamonds. And they still... Oh, there we go, they lost their scent. Probably throw some... 
There we go. All right. There's at least one guard over here. So I'm kind of going in like backwards order. This one is kind of like the last one. There's the second one over there. That one. And right next to it, there's the like the third one on the ground level. Can I distract you guys? Are you are you, are you done? I think they're done. So here we go. I'm just gonna let them let them go their own own ways. And there we go. That's good. The first That's one. the first one. Destroy and nobody noticed. Antennas. It just kind of blew up. That's what I like about this water gun. But you gotta not aim at the satellites themselves, but the little boxes right next to them. Gotta count in the bullet drop, of course. Ah, perfect. Nice. nice. That's the second one. Yeah. That antenna is one of the targets. Good work. There we go. Alright, now the soldiers got excited, but I'm already done. It. Now, I could be using that delivery point, but you know, as you can see, it's kinda heavily guarded at this moment. Fetch. Fetch, boys. Alright. 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 I think I can... Whoa! Look at that. Did you see that? Claymore. Right over there. Oop. So I'm not gonna be able to use the box delivery system this time because it's too heavily guarded. I had a box with me just in case the guard could have passed, but... Uh, oh. Look at that. Totally bad spot to be in. Up, up, up. Let's go, horse. Teleport over to me. There we go. We should be able to go train. Yeah. You've made it out of the hot zone. We're out of the hot zone and we are done. And that is the water pistol for ya. Really useful in taking down some electric equipment. Silent! Amazing! Mission complete! That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only. Thank you. I appreciate those words every time, Kazuhira Miller. So there we go, another S rank, codename Foxhound. That's how I play. Silently, stealth. That's my way. So, that pretty much wraps up uh, this episode. Uh, let me know again about the question I asked earlier about the different skills, are there some uh, useful uh, missions to use them at? I would be interested in knowing, because I'm just uh, experimenting with them now myself. So uh, that will wrap it up for this episode. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, this is Spade Rambling and signing out. Peace. Hands up. Hands up. Don't move. I don't want to die.